Hi, I'm Muddy Festival Girl and I'm here to talk to you about my top 10 safety tips for festivals. My first one is don't padlock your tent. Tents are quite easy to slash if there is a lock on them. It's not going to stop anybody. If anything, it will point you out as a target because thieves will go, there's a lock on that tent. They've obviously got something quite nice in there and just take a knife and then it's theirs. My second point is to invest in one of these. Now obviously you don't need one quite as girly or fashionable as this one. A money belt can be very useful to store, well, money and your phone in and it can stop it getting nicked because obviously it's worn around here so you can see and you'll know if anyone tries to go in it. Also the thing with putting phones in pockets or whatnot, they can fall out as I'm sure has happened at some point to most people. And also people can dip their hands into pockets. The same goes for backpacks. And I'm sure if you look around on YouTube, you'll find plenty of instances where experienced thieves have dipped into backpacks. I've seen one with a laptop, so people can definitely take your phones. My third point is to sleep with everything in your sleeping bag. Now, I did have a friend, unfortunately, who their tent was broken into during the night and all of their money was taken. And that was on the first night, so they were left without money for the rest of the festival. They did manage to get it sorted and enjoy themselves, but it definitely put a downer on things. But the reason that can help is if someone does break into your tent, they can easily grab something if it's just laying around without you waking up. But if it's in your bag, some someone would have to dip in and feel around and I think you would notice that. Well, at least I hope you would. My fourth point is quite an obvious one, but people, I guess, get wrapped up in the atmosphere and they forget or just go a bit too far. The tip is don't get too drunk because you will make yourself quite vulnerable. I've seen people passed out in, in not great situations. This happens a lot at V Festival for some reason. So I'm watching you V Festival goers. Oh, it's me as well, isn't it? But the reason for that is obviously if you pass out, people can, oh, people can rob you again, but you can also put yourself in quite a bit of danger if you pass out in the wrong place, especially a toilet. Another one to go along with that is don't take drugs. Obviously don't in general because they're illegal in the UK, but at festivals people have died, so that should be enough to put you off really. My next point is to take a spare phone with you. Obviously I've got an iPhone 6 and I wouldn't dream of taking that with me. The reason you want to take a spare phone is obviously you do want to contact your friends to be safe and take crappy pictures. But if you take an expensive one and it gets robbed, it's quite a big deal, but a cheap crappy one, you don't really care, it's gone. They're not going to sell them for much, nobody wins. With a spare phone, if it does break or get lost, it doesn't matter. You still have got your nice one at home. My sixth point is get to know your camp neighbours. This has come in very useful for me. I went to V Festival and I was on my own, which I, I wouldn't advise to be honest. There was some, a group of men and they weren't particularly nice. They were, they were a bit forward, if I can put it that way. That's a nice way to put it. But I got to know car park assistants who were camped the other side of me and I told them and they moved me into their group and they kept an eye and made sure that these guys stayed away, which I was very grateful for. So definitely get to know your neighbours. Also another thing is if you recognise them and you've got to know them and they've got to know you, if either of you spots someone who isn't part of that group going into a tent, you can stop them and they can stop anyone going into yours that isn't part of your group. So it can be a very good safety aspect in that way as well. The next point is make use of the lockers that are at festivals. They're only about £15 and you can also get an extra key for about £3 per person. I think there's probably a maximum of two extra keys. But between friends that's not that bad. And if you need to take stuff like bank cards or IDs or you do want to take a phone then you can put it in there and charge it. Which is always quite handy at festivals because it can be quite expensive. My eighth point is quite an obvious one, but people seem to forget again, get carried away, I guess. Uh, but it's to stay hydrated. 
obviously normally you're sat indoors or you don't really notice the heat outside when you're stood in a field for a long day it can get quite hot and you're also doing a lot more exercise than you think walking around a festival i've seen on the first day of reading one year during i think it was the first act coheed and cambria this person passed out and that that's not a good start another instance i had was not at a festival i'm sorry but it was at avenge seven folds we were front row and obviously if you've seen avenge sevenfold a lot of flames going on this girl next to me on the barrier she had this thick coat on refused to take it off didn't have any water and ended up passing out and missing the last half of Avenged Sevenfold. That was some pretty good stuff. She had to get carried away, which is not a good way to do it. Another thing is, if you are near a barrier, you can ask the stewards, who are also obviously the other side of the barrier, if they can give you some water. They will be able to. It's no problem. Some of them will even very kindly fill up a water bottle for you if you have one and you don't want to lose your spot. Another point to go along with that is to use sunscreen. A lot of people get very crispy at festivals because they forget it or they're like, oh, we don't need it. We live in Britain. It's never sunny. It is, sometimes, if we're lucky. But you don't want to end your festival early because you get heat stroke and you have to visit the medical tent or you could miss your favourite band and that's kind of crappy. Another point which I don't see recommended very often by other festival bloggers or vloggers, find your nearest safety tower. This can be very useful once. I had a friend, he wasn't looking so good, so I ran to the nearest tower to get help. Luckily I knew where it was so the time was a lot shorter. Unfortunately, there wasn't anyone there. Know where your nearest medical tent is, because after there was no one in the tower to run to the medical tent, it's quite tiring, I'll be honest. But the, he did get the help and he's, he's fine. The thing that I wish I'd known was that you can crowd surf out. Although crowd surfing is frowned upon by the festival organisers, if you do need it, you can ask. And as soon as you get to the stewards, tell them that you've got a problem and they will get you medical attention. Like I have quite a bad knee and I decided to walk out after, I think it was Kaiser Chiefs and obviously it had got quite jumpy, it hurt a lot and walking out was a very bad idea. Another use it's good for is if you suffer from panic attacks or you, you do happen to get one because well it's a festival, you're in a giant crowd, so you can get out a lot quicker that way. Anyway, that's been my top 10 safety tips and I hope it helps you out and bye.